Well, I've done a lot of rudery, and, yes. I've, and I've did that in book one. But I, re I remember things. It's just when you're 82, you, you don't cocksuck anymore. You don't wank, you know. It's, you don't? It's, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I know you do, but... <laughs> the best show in the world. <laughs> it's my first time here. I can't wait. This is great. This is great. <laughs> I, I wanted to talk about the other more serious part of my life. Yes. Uh, so that people don't just think I'm a maniac, but, mm. but a real person. Yeah. Um, and in the book, you, you, uh, you talk about politics and you tell stories and you talk about... And actually, I misunderstood. You talk about your appearance on the Today programme. When I... Didn't know that the mics were up. Yes. Well, I didn't. That's the absolute <laughs> truth. I would never swear on Radio 4, ever. <laughs> because Radio 4, to me, it's a temple. You know, it's a middle-class temple. I'm middle-class, you know. We're trapped in England in these classes, and... I really want it all like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't! <laughs> so there it was! <laughs> I was, I was waiting to do a, a, a eulogy for Robbie, Col Robbie Coltrane and um, <laughs> Jeffrey Hunt was the... Um, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt. I'm so worried about names. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't know that um, I was going to sit in the same seat as him afterwards uh, because he made his uh, comments to the radio and then he left and I was asked to come in and sit down and... I sat in the chair, and it was warm, from his... Derriere. Derriere. <laughs> and uh, then when, when I d talked about Robbie, whom I loved, Robbie Coltrane, and I got up, and Justin, the, the announcer, said something about, I bet you didn't think you'd sit in the same chair as Jeremy Hunt. And I said, no, I didn't. And he said, well, what did you say to him when you saw him outside? And I said, well, I said, um, you know, you've got a difficult job, uh, best of luck. But what I really wanted to say was, you fucking bastard, <laughs> you <laughs> arsehole. And he said, no, uh, we just better get you out of the studio. <laughs> and I didn't know the mic was up. I didn't know. No, because I thought you must have. I you, you, didn't. You were genuinely upset by I was shocked. Yes. I was appalled at my own rudeness, and I, I was appalled. And I would like to make that clear. Yes. So, um, please forgive me, audience oh. in, of the Radio 4. There won't be any of those here, because... No. You know, it's just <laughs> a different kind of person. Yes, yeah, it's a different sort but of thing. But it really did... It was upsetting. <laughs>